Hello everybody, here is a video log of part of my collection. I have a few collections, but I figured I would start with um, one of them. And if I get good feedback, I might do more in the future. So let me know what you guys think. But I am going to start with my Dale and Hart Jr. collection. I do have a lot in this tub. And I have quite a bit on display as well. So I'll try to get through what I can here. So I'll just go ahead and start. This is a candy tin. That was actually candy tin and candy chocolates in here. Um, inside is just earrings. This was a Christmas gift from my grandma. And she knows how much I like Junior. So she used this to put my earrings in. So I kept the candy tin. And here... I lost the bottom, but this was actually a can koozie with his old number, Dale Jr. So that is that. Here is a box with Dale Jr. And inside is postcards. And they're blank inside. I did use a couple of them to write thank you notes, but I did save the rest for my collection. And here is a tin. I got this as a gift. Um, so on the top it says number eight, Dill Jr. And inside is garden gloves, actually. And I have used these a few times. But um, I don't want to use them too much because I don't want to wreck them. But it says Dill Jr. and number eight. So that is what's oops, in that tin. And here are just a couple magnets. Um, I get a new calendar each year and I get um, magnets as a bonus. So this is one of them. This is National Guard car. And then this is from when he won the Daytona 500 last year. And this is a tin. I have been looking for collector trading cards for quite some time. And I do a lot of shopping on eBay. But I do a lot of research. Quiet before I go purchase something. Um, so this was actually sealed, it had never been opened, but I opened it to view the cards and I have them in a binder so the cards are not long, no longer in there. But um, this is the tin that it came in and I got it for a really good deal, I think like 15 bucks. And the other ones that I kept researching were like 40 or 60 and I'm like, I'm not gonna spend that. So when I saw this for 15 bucks, I had to get it. And here, I got this as a gift too, was the unveil of when Junior was going to his new team. So this is Amp Energy. <clears throat> this one is hard to open. Sorry, I'm gonna set this down for a sec. But in here is a lanyard of when he unveiled. And it says, 91907 Dallas, Texas, Dale and Hart Junior joins Mountain Dew Amp Racing. So this is a lanyard that's in there. That was also a gift. A lot of these I got gifts or I bought myself. And this is um, playing cards. It's a tin with two playing card packs inside. And I have used these. But I try not to use them as often anymore as it is kind of showing some wear and tear. And here was a phone case that I bought when I had my iPhone 4S. So obviously I can't use it anymore with my 5S. But that is one I bought. I was looking for a junior one for a while. And here are just some more playing cards that, this one I got off um, NASCAR.com Superstore. A lot of my stuff I either buy from there or from eBay. So this one was from NASCAR Superstore. I don't even think I opened it. Nope, I didn't. This one I didn't open either, but this is number eight, his old number. And this one I got off eBay as well, just Dale Jr. playing cards. Okay. Hopefully I'm going to be able to remember how I got all this stuff in here. <laughs> um, I went to a race back in 2005 at Phoenix, my dad and I. So this is um, a hospitality pass that we had. But the lanyard is Dale Jr. So this is why I have the lan I kept the lanyard because it's Junior. And in the back is my ticket to the race. So I kept the tickets from when we went to that. And here is my dad's. He didn't want his, so I kept it. 
And this is actually a pencil. Dylan Hart Jr. It has never been used. And this I actually found at Fleet Farm, I think it was. And it was already past 2009. Um, but I think I used it. Yeah, I filled out the rest, like, filled out some information. But I mostly bought it to look at the pictures. I mean, there's a picture for each new month. So that I just kept and bought. I mean, it was, it was a really, really good price. So. Okay, so this, I have some movies in here. I just never took them out. But this is like a CD visor thing of Dill Jr. And now these, I have a lot of Christmas ornaments. So this is one Christmas ornament I have. Here's a couple box ones. I think I have duplicates of some because I bought a bunch and then I got a bunch for Christmas. That's his National Guard one. This one was his AMP one. It goes over there. And this is one of his cars. And these, here's a couple duplicates, but there's those. Oops. Sorry, I'm just like throwing my stuff everywhere. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is notepad. I basically used all of this, so I just have like a few sheets left. But there's that. This is a notebook a friend gave me, and I was doing math in some of them. And this is like a little wallet thing or something. This is another little notepad and this is more of those pages. And this is another notebook a friend found for me and bought. And I actually wrote Dell Jr. I really don't want him to leave DEI. He will still be my favorite no matter where he goes. I love Dell Jr. So I was quite young when I got that. But that's cute. I won't open this because it's heavy and it's too tedious, but it's like a glass ornament of Dill Jr. Um, so when you shine it on the light, it lights up, but I won't open that just because it's glass and breakable. Woo wee, my stuff is falling down. And here is some more Christmas ornaments. And this is a magnet. This is another one. So now I'm going to start with calendars. I keep the calendars. So this was the 2014. And this is 2013. And this is the mag. And it came with a bonus magnet. And this is 2012. And here's 2011. Two thousand and ten and two thousand and nine. I actually had a couple two thousand nines. I actually got one for my parents for Christmas and then one for my grandma. And this is two thousand eight. So that's when I started um buying Dell Jr. calendars. That was in 2008. And now here's a book. This was actually my brother's, but I kind of stole it from him. And this is a book of the Dell and Hart Jr. story. And this, I bought this off of eBay. This is a Sports Illustrated from when he won the Daytona 500 last year. And the seller was really good about putting it in a protective package for me was in great shape. Again, I do a lot of research before I buy an item. I look at the item, uh, seller's feedback. I read up on it. I look at prices. So I actually d take months to purchase an item before I buy it. So there is that one. And this was another one that I bought off eBay from a seller in great shape. NASCAR Illustrated. 
And this is just my um, pack of stuff. So this was actually off a Diet Do 24 pack. I cut <laughs> that part off and kept it. This is like a magnet. Let me see if I can get some of this stuff out. Like this is a piece of the cardboard that I kept. And this was a magazine article for my friend. And this was actually out of a cereal box, like a little card. And I made this when I was in the hospital. And this was in one of my cars I bought. And this is another magnet from one of his calendars, along with this one. And this was from the Phoenix racetrack that I went to in 2005. The schedule, I kept that because he's on the front. Then my grandma gave me this. She watches QVC. And um, Junior was on the cover of that little flyer. So she gave me that. And this is when I met Junior at Cedar Lake Speedway back in 2007. So this was my ticket. And this I kept. It's just a magazine article that I kept because it's Junior and NASCAR Superstore I kept this one because Junior was on the cover as well and then in here is just a bunch of articles um, magazine clippings that I saved um, this is another one from the Phoenix racetrack that I kept they were passing these tunnel ads out like Jeff Gordon and Kyle Busch and I got Dale, obviously, because I did not care about any other drivers. And this was the back of a cereal box, so I cut the back out and saved the back. And that's where that card came from, too. So that is what's in there. Let me just set this stuff down quick. Almost done here, I think, before I get up and show you what else I have. So this is just a newspaper article that talks about Junior in here a little bit. I won't go through that, but that's what that is about. And this, I bought this, the TV guide that he was in. I bought this at the grocery store. I actually had to go to a few stores to find this. And this I also bought last year, NASCAR Illustrated, when he was on the cover. And this I bought as well when he was on the 2013 edition and this one I bought at work we had this at work with junior on the front so I bought that where I work and this was also where I work the Daytona 500 with Dale Jr. so I bought that there was only one and I snatched it up so that is all that is in that bin so I will quickly go of what I have on display here I have this little table with some cars on display. Um, here's his Amp Energy Diecast in orange. It's one of my favorite cars of his. And this is an action figure. And this is actually probably my favorite diecast. Is his 2014 Daytona 500 winning car. And I buy a lot of these Matchbox cars at Target or Walmart. So this one or online. I think I bought this one off of NASCAR.com. It was a good deal on it, so I bought that one. This is one of my haulers I have on display. And I put one of my matchbook cars in here to make it look like it's going into the hauler. So that's what I did there. Over here, you'll see some of my autographs. But this is another one of my favorite cars. I actually just got this this year. It's his um, Kelly Blue Book car. From 2014 and this is the matchbox version of the Kelly Blue Book car I do not open my matchbox cars once I leave those in the package and this is his National Guard Youth Foundation car and I do have a couple little cars on display right here and I have another hauler. I have a couple more that I won't dig out because it's buried in my closet. But this is when he won Michigan back in 2008. And this is what I won from Dale Jr. himself, a signed hat. 
And here's just another like little car. And here's all my current Dell Jr. die casts that I have in my cabinet. That camel one is autographed from when I met him. And also that Oreo Ritz one down there. And that Bud one is signed by him too. And let me see. I do. I did just get a pack of like five or seven magazines from another seller. I paid like seven bucks for them. And there's that one. That one. I actually like that one. He's laughing in that one. And that one. This one. And then this one. It's Junior up in the corner right there. And then I do have... Can't really see it, but it's a Dale Junior duffel bag that I use when I go on vacations. Um, I do now use my Adidas one. I do have a pink container in here somewheres of matchbox cars that I won't dig out because it's obviously buried. But um, I have boxes. I keep all the die cast boxes down there um, along with some haulers that I have. Let me just grab this binder quick and show you. So this is the binder that I just bought so I could put oops, it's backwards. Um, my trading cards in. And these are just some cards this is where the action figure was in. These are just some couple cards that I saved. But these are all the trading cards that was in the... Whoa! Oops, let me go back this way. That was in that blue tin. It was like a pack of 72 of them. Sorry, I'm going through this really fast, but... So this ending, this one was just a card that I had. So this is where the pack ended. And in that other box with all the other NASCAR drivers were the ones I found of Junior. So these were the ones I pulled out. These two I bought on eBay from a seller for like 25 cents. They are like brand new. And here is um, hero cards from Kelly Blue Book. I actually got these off of Twitter. I um, tweeted a picture to them of that Kelly Blue Book die, die cast. And they said, you need to have the hero cards to finish your Kelly Blue Book collection. So they sent me the 2014 one. There's the back. And this is the 2015. So I was like, that's pretty sweet of them to do that. So they sent me those hero cards. And over here, I have a little bit left in my collection. But I have this board of my three favorite people. And up here I have one of my cards of Junior on display. And here is his nationwide car um, for 2015. Here's another pencil that I have. And this is also from that Mountain Dew 24 case that I cut out and put there. And over here is my mean greet photo from when I met Dill Junior back in 2007. But anyway, that is my collection. Most of it, like I said, some... Ooh, I forgot my poster. Hang on. I got this poster from my grandpa. It is very, very beat up. As you can see, there's holes in it from when my brother decided to poke it. So I tried taping it. I mean, there's rips. It is in very bad shape. But I am trying to keep it um, the way it is now. Um, so I decided to put it inside my closet to try to protect it now but that is the poster my grandpa got me I think he went to an auction or a store somewhere and saw it and he bought it for me um I had another one I'm not sure where it went I think that one actually got damaged oh yeah and then over here I bought this two last year for when junior went a day to 500 that I have on display but anyway that is my Dale junior collection um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, if anyone likes these videos and wants me to do a couple more vlogs, I will gladly do more. I have um, a nice autograph collection and um, a couple other collections that I will be willing to show you if anyone is interested. Um, so like I said, there is some more Dale Jr. cars. Let me see if I can find that bin. 
Uh, nope, it's definitely buried. So we won't worry about that. But those are just a couple more Matchbox cars. But anyway, thanks for watching. Now I get to put all of that back. Um, comment, like, let me know what you thought of this video. And I will do some more in the future if you would like. Thanks for watching.